Welcome back to the channel, part-time camper. Good job. All right, today um, we'll be working on installing a dual battery system in my truck, in the bed. I have a camper shell put on there now, and um, I'm wanting to put an inverter also in there. So here's the parts list, and my daughter, she's out here giving me a hand. So first order of business, we have this uh, interstate deep cycle battery and we got a glare there but it's 110 amp hour uh, at 20 hour rate so so i got a big battery we've got uh, some terminals there a dc circuit breaker 100 amp this is the battery isolator which will separate your starter battery from your um your auxiliary battery. So if you read right there, it's uh, it comes on at 13.4 volts. So when the starter battery is at 13.4 volts, it will charge the auxiliary battery. If it falls below 12.9 volts on your starter battery, it will disconnect the auxiliary battery and just charge the starter. So that your starter battery will never run out. You'll never get stranded that way. So this is the isolate that we're gonna use between the two batteries. This is the inverter that I bought, it is a 1500 watt, it's a Voltworks, uh, pure sine wave. Uh, so it makes good clean energy, just like your house uh, that you live in, yeah, your 110, your 120 volt. So, and then this is some, um, I opted for one gauge wire. Uh, some people say four gauge, whatever, but the, the bigger the wire, the less, it's going to heat up and get hot and it just the current will flow better so this will be the wire from the battery to the inverter this wire will be from the starter battery to the auxiliary battery just for charging purposes only this you will definitely want from here to the in battery to the inverter so this is the junk that they send you with the inverter just a heads up this is what they send you i hook this up to a little heater fan that I have here. Right there it is, and it's 1500 watts. So it's the max of what this inverter is capable of doing. These little wires got so hot, and yeah, they're junk. So, you know, you could keep them and use them for some other project, but they are junk. This is why we go with this. We won't have that issue. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna take you out to the truck and show you where I'm gonna run the wires. So I'll see you out there. Okay, so we're inside the truck, inside the, the bed of the truck with the camper shell and everything. So um, I had a bed rug installed in here. So this whole thing is carpeted, which is really nice. I would recommend getting one of these. And they're pretty rugged. I mean, I've hauled firewood and stuff back here. But anyway, so I was trying to find a place to run the wire. So this is a 2019 Ford F-250, if you want to know. But uh, I finally came to the conclusion and I pulled this bed rug back and down in here you have this little gap and this little plastic piece was in here like this so I don't know what it's for exactly but I am going to use it for wires so we're going to drill a hole in here put a little rubber grommet in there and we will run the wires through there and then this tow hook here you can see it pokes through the bed rug. There is a slot cut for it right here somewhere. I can't see where it is, but it's here somewhere. And then I'm gonna bring the wires through here and then it'll go right through that hole that's already in the bed rug right here. And they'll come out right here where that slot is, right there it is. So they'll come right through there and then I'll set everything up over here in this corner with the battery and the inverter. Um, yeah, I've actually got a a piece of plywood right there, three quarter inch plywood cut. And that's kind of like a shelf I put in here. So it'll go all the way across here in the back. So I'll probably mount the inverter up under that piece of wood. So it'll be up, up out of the, be up out of the way, but I'm going to have to put the battery on the floor down here somewhere. So, but hopefully we can tuck it away in this corner right here. We'll have too many issues with it. Um, so I'm going to get the wiring done and everything. Uh, once I have it all set up, I'll show you the, uh, the final setup. 
Okay, so we've done a little work now. I'll show you what we've got so far for the inverter setup here. So here's your starter battery inside your truck, car, whatever you may have. So here's the battery isolator and I just mounted it right up on top of the fuse box, just some double-sided tape. It's not gonna go anywhere. So what you have is you're gonna have a positive wire. It's gonna come out of your battery, starter battery. It's gonna go down and it goes into here. Then you're gonna have another positive that comes out and it's gonna go back to the back of the truck where the battery is and hook into the positive side of that battery. Then this here is just a little ground that comes out of the isolator. I just took it over and hooked it onto the negative on the battery over here. So I'll show you under the truck, the way I ran the cable. I just ran that positive line right down along the truck. So it comes down right there from the fuse panel. And I put this uh, wire loom or conduit, whatever they call it, around it. But I did it all the way back. I still got to secure all this, but I just loosely put it up there for now. And I'll secure it all here in a second. Now, to show you what I did back here, you're gonna have to have a ground. You're gonna have to have a ground that comes from the battery in the bed of the truck. You're gonna have to ground it somewhere. So up in here, there's where my wires go. But there is a hole right there in the bed. And you can see the little, there's a plastic piece that covers that hole. I took that plastic piece out drilled a hole in it, ran the wires through it up into the bed. But there's that wire. And then what I did for the ground is I come over here on this side of the frame and I come right down here in this exhaust mount right here. And I just grounded that out right there with that bolt. It fits perfect into the cable I had. So there's that. Then, so, and then up in here, there's the battery. So I brought the wires up through that hole right here. There's a hole in the corner of the bed and you can run, put that plastic piece back in. You run your wires up through positive and negative. So this is where I'm at now. Um, I'm going to build the wires for the inverter. Now I got some one gauge wire for that. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to mount the inverter yet, but uh, I'll show you that once we're all done. Okay. So we got everything hooked up. Everything's running. So, see that's on. So this is just a little shelf I put up in the back of here. Um, you know, put stuff on it, whatever. But anyway, this is what I end up doing. I just bolted it onto the bottom of uh, this plywood. Okay, so what I've done is I've got a 100 amp breaker right here. I uh, don't know if you need to go that big, but that's what I've got. So you're coming out of your battery. So here's the, from the starter battery, so they'll charge it. This is your wire, goes up, goes into the circuit breaker, comes out, goes into the inverter. Same with the negative down to there. And then the ground is going back out Hooking up where I showed you a while ago. Pretty simple setup. There's not much to it. So you just got to find the how to run the wires and whatever your setup would be. But now we have 110 power. So we'll try out this little uh, can opener. So it's a 1500 watt unit. Um, that's about 180 watts there that that's pulling. So let's do this. We're going to hook up this little heater. Yeah. This is 1500 watts. So it is the max for this thing. So give it a go. There you go. No problems at all. 
Works just fine. No issues. I let this run the other day too, and the fans actually took a while to kick on, so it does real well. So this little plug-in right there is for a remote. And in the parts list, I went over in the beginning of the video, I didn't say anything about it, but it was laying there. But that plugs in there. So my plan is to plug it in and run a wire down through here somewhere. And you can put it back here and you can turn the inverter on and off with that remote switch from back there. And then uh, the other thing I want to do, this has got USB plugs in it, two of them. But I want a cigarette lighter back here, so I'm probably going to eventually wire in a cigarette lighter there and run it out to the back here somewhere also. But anyway, that's my setup. It's not fancy or anything like some of these that you see, but it works. It's functional, and it was easy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.